Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Godhood, where things have been going pretty smoothly, although I'm worried that, worried that that may come to an end sometime in the near future here. We are starting to have some serious faith issues, like Morali is just at 36 faith right now. Now, part of this is because we haven't actually included Morali in a, uh, in a sacrament in a little while. Remember, people who win sacraments get that, that victory buff, which turns out to be a tremendous amount of faith. And Morali has been in the village doing miracles for such a long time that, uh, that we do not have that here. So we probably want to bring Morali to this next sacrament. Uh, and then on top of that, we can we can still build a level of... Yeah, we can still build a level of faith from the gardens. Uh, it's a little awkward, because obviously what I want to do is build this next, but we, <laughs> we might have to detour and get the garden thing done because, man, we need that faith. And then um, also, we're one development spark off of a new tenant, which will absolutely be an adoration tenant. We need something llamas. We need llamas in this religion. That's our big problem. Uh, yeah, so after completing this next mission, we'll be able to make a lot of moves toward correcting our faith issues. I'm confident we're going to be okay on that. We are also uh, only a couple of sacraments away from Chim and Tei being retireable. Um, which I will probably do pretty quickly after it's possible to do it, because they both have pretty pretty low potential. I mean, they're both kind of at their potential right now, right? And they're still in the 40s. So we'll recycle them, try to get some newer newer disciples in here, try to fix our class balance up a little bit. Whew. It's, it's going to be a, a rough, I think, maybe just this island, maybe like half of this island. And then after that, we're going to be so powerful and have so many buffs. Like, we're in really good position here if we can just squeeze through this next little bit. So, let's talk about what we're doing here today. We are about to take on the second arena. Which looks pretty doable. Some 40s. This guy has some 51 power. 53 over here. Alright, so it's not it's not an easy battle. But it's very doable. We can put um, Emilia in the middle here. Like, is this is this Emilia Morali Morala? Because we do need XP on both Morali and Morala, and although we could we could have Morala sit back and just um, just level up, I suppose. We certainly have the offerings for it. But we probably need to bring Morali because we need to get the victory buff. We need to bring Amelia because we desperately need, um, yeah. So we desperately need to blow up the middle part of this battle as quickly as possible. And then we could bring a cola. We could, we could pull up please fans and bring a cola. Ooh, except a cola's in a place where a five point penalty to faith is actually a big deal. Although we're about to get a bunch of faith bonuses. You know what? I think I'm actually going to do that. I know we're pushing really hard on this, but, like, resources, right? Who doesn't love resources? So, and the armor from a from Akola's bodyguard thing will help dealing with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. So it's Emilia, Akola, Morali, and then Morala probably needs to get XP boosted. Unless we get really lucky and we get the chance to bless Morala twice. Um, but assuming that's not going to happen. And actually, yeah, bringing Akola on a mission where we fired both Great Summoning and Please Fans means we are going to get mega paid. Okay, let's do this. I actually probably don't want to press this button until we're about to leave, right? Because we don't want you to be underneath uh, 40 for any longer than you absolutely have to be. Uh, and then we're going to... We're going to want to save 125, which means we have 335 to play with. Uh, offerings, that is. So we could do an XP boost on somebody else right now. Like, we'd XP boost Morali, because obviously I'm... I don't know if you guys have noticed. I, f I feel very strongly about maxing out Morali. Um, 
XP boost Morale. Ritual Progress boosts somebody. And then that leaves me with... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's... Oh, no, hold on. I gotta remember to, to budget for the 25 I have to spend here. If we do these two, we spend 325, we'll go down to 130, which will not leave us enough room to XP boost plus do this. So, I'm going to XP boost Morali, and then we're not going to do anything else. I'm going to take a dream point here. Okay. Do we risk it? Because if we take the XP boost on this, and then we don't get the chance to bless Morala again, obviously that's pretty non-ideal. You know what? It's fine. All the extra XP will overflow anyway, right? It's not like it's going to be wasted. Alright, Amelia, what if you got even more powerful? Ha ha! Check it out. So we get to do the XP boost on Morali instead. Uh, what's up? Chaos Reigns! Perfect! Oh, that is perfect! Actually, that's really handy! Alright, Devotion for you. Uh, then we do this thing. Yep, everybody loves a cola, but a cola does not necessarily love everybody. Morali's gonna have so much XP. And then we also could do a Ritual Progress, or we could do one of these. Um, so who do we think we need to ritual progress on? I mean, my inclination would be to do it on Morali. Uh, and then you're gonna just keep on... keep on occulting. 73 knowledge. <laughs> 73 is the number of the knowledge. <laughs> feels a little... it feels a little silly. Okay, so... We probably want a damage boost, Amelia? gonna get to 125 HP over 40 health and then how are we gonna position people it's gonna be a cola across from this one because this one's a lot less likely to do meaningful direct damage so a cola doesn't necessarily need a buff and we do a an armor buff on um, on Morali just to stay safe here I like that idea you get physical armor you get physical damage And then we're going to have some problems to solve, for sure. But this will work for right now. And I mean, right, we have to we have to take at least one martyrdom here. I think we can take one. The question is, can we take more than one? I think we probably shouldn't push it. <laughs> this is going to be difficult enough already. I was kind of hoping that the songs were going to turn out to be... Um, we're going to turn out to be life elemental. Oh gosh, your knowledge is going to be so high. 58 might plus 34 might plus 43 might. Yeah, this is going to be... You sure are going to have some scaling. Uh, inspection mode. How do I... There we go. Oh, wait, hold on, I have to wait for the thing to actually begin. You are functioning at 105 knowledge right now. That's pretty good. Okay, we got one stun. And maybe maybe the most important position stun. I really thought that was going to take more than one hit. I mean, we got lucky and we got a crit. Oh, can we get... Aw, no retribution. That's a shame. Well, it looks like we're going to win by conversion pretty early on here. Yeesh. That's a shame that we, we got to 259 and then they got a turn to convert a bunch of people. Ah, well. It would be hard to complain too much about that battle. I think a lot of, a lot of things there went pretty all right. We are definitely approaching the point, though, where we have to stop relying on Amelia. Okay, a thousand more materials. Definitely helpful. We are a little material crunched right now. Ooh, a wondrous meditation miracle. 
As Morallo was meditating on the Great Winged Skeleton's will, a moment of ecstatic revelation struck. The greatness of the Great Winged Skeleton's insight almost drove Mor Morala insane. When Morala used their new insight to predict the death of a Skelefans, everyone was completely in awe. That's not, I mean, but we didn't, sorry, we didn't use the prediction to, like, save that person? Just, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, congratulations on your maddening revelation. And also on another copy of Smite, which is great. And I think I want to take Counter Heresy, right? Witch Hunter is too narrow. Yeah, like, any any chance to get an extra shot in feels pr like a pretty big deal. Uh, so. Do we want to do this? I'm kind of thinking we might skip this one, honestly. It looks hard. <laughs> it's just very dangerous. Uh, this is not any easier, though. I think we gotta take a repeatable... I think we have to we have to give Amelia a moment to breathe. Although Amelia's actually This is going to be our la the last opportunity we have to use Amelia this um this particular sacrament. So maybe we should take one of these on, hope for the ability to bless M Amelia, but if not have Amelia just go in tired. Just win us one last big thing. And do you really not even yeah even with the even with the victory buff, Jesus Christ! All right, well, <laughs> we'll fix it. We'll get there. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no timer on this one. If we're pushing, we're pushing for this. These are very frightening numbers, and we're looking at just huge amounts of HP on the enemies. And also, there's this thing. I really don't... We're not in a good position to benefit from having our damage forced over to Cunning. So, I think we might skip this. As much as I want extra development sparks. Uh... Plus knowledge development power. That seems alright. I think let's take this on, let's try to force through this with Amelia. Hopefully we'll get the opportunity to bless some fervor into her. And then we're gonna have to do some repeatables for a little while while we're, while we're rebuilding things. I think that's the plan. So 47 to 52, 56 is... You have peace offer and unity. Okay, it's gonna be a tough one. But I think it is the right move. And then we are going to... Huh. Why are these glowing now? We already... Oh, because this is the first time since we got the ability to build them where we've actually had the money to build them, I think. Uh, well, the first thing we're going to do is take on a new tenant. So, of the Adoration tenants, what makes the most sense? Obviously, Blood Offer is, like, on theme, as is Dark Dedication and probably Mutilate Heretics. But listen, it can't all be darkness and mutilation all the time. You know, uh, here's the thing. Variety is the spice of life. I think we should adore some llamas. Let's just take a moment, shall we, and adore some llamas. Nothing beats the splendor of the mighty llama. Amelia professes the merits of adoring llamas to the Skelefans. And when she retires from her job as a, uh, as a smite sword, it's going to be to take care of our llamas. Okay, so then, uh, that's got you at 30. We really need Morali not to lose Faith Bonds due to being down. Uh, winning more victories will push the value of that victory buff higher. Where's Morali XP-wise? 20. I think we're not going to have anybody do a miracle until after the next sacrament, so this can wait until then. We're going to buy Strong Faith right now. So we need to make 751 in the next sacrament, ideally. That could totally happen. We do make a lot of resources. Actually, 751 is unlikely, though, right? We'd have to hit... We'd have to hit five chests, which we cannot do, right? Oh, except these do give bonus... Yeah, these are worth 183 each. So if we do this and we do... If we were to do Martyrdom 1 and take four chests, that would be... 
I mean, that would be way more than we need. Actually, the 183 is sufficient, right? With the 275 passive. Yeah. Oh, I'm not... What am I talking about? We're not doing this. I picked, I picked this one. Well, this is also three chests, but uh, sadly it's the small chests. Well... So right now we're gonna go to we're gonna go to a little over fifteen hundred from the passive. It would take five chests, or with a cola, four chests would be sufficient. If we bring a cola on this mission, a cola's idle bonus will make it good enough. So would that be right, Amelia? Plus a cola plus Marala, maybe. And then, and then we're retiring some people. Yeah, I think that should work. So, uh, then how do we spend our offerings for the moment? It doesn't help us to push Morali to the threshold right now, because we don't want to do this. We don't want to do the miracle until after the next sacrament. So we could do an XP push right now and then try to like get there on XP blessings. That feels unlikely though, because we're short 10. So we'd have to do four XP blessings before the sacrament after next, which means four of the six blessing opportunities would have to come up Morali. I don't see it happening. All right, I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do XP up and then we'll do it one more time and that'll that'll be how we get there. Okay, and then after that, this is still going to be a fairly difficult battle, so I think we probably do want to dream a bit on it. We could do ritual progress on, like, a cola. We could do ritual progress on a cola twice and maybe actually get up the thresholds. I think I like that. Alright, so Scream and Bless Skulls. We'll be able to do this one more time right before the thing happens. And then, yeah, we take a Dream Point here. We hope that we have the opportunity to give a Point of Fervor to Amelia. The Llama is a great beast of burden. One could go on great adventures with one and find the true self. Unlocks the tradition of Hermit Pilgrimage. Well, what is that? What does that one do? Choose a disciple with at least 16 knowledge. I mean, you have to be knowledgeable to go hang out with a llama. Uh, we'll become unavailable for one mission, but we'll get 8 XP on returning and 2 ability points. Yo, that seems really good, actually. They get more XP than they would get from a sacrament, even with a full, even with fully upgraded sacraments. Yo, picking up a door llamas, like, really early on, and then using that to push XP really aggressively on people while also maxing out their abilities seems very powerful. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that adoring llamas would be so important? I guess anyone who worked at Maxis, right? And also the guys who, who originally programmed to win amp, I suppose. Uh, dream. Come on, let me bless Amelia. Ah, uh, we don't get to know that yet. The suspense is killing me. Oh, that's a bummer. So yeah, minus 20% stats is a bummer. Um, the fact that she's still happy, even while, <laughs> even while, even while fatigued, is kind of nice, though. Uh, so is it a fourth dream point, then? We certainly are going to want some defenses. Obviously, Amelia standing across from this to absorb these peace offers with her Im very impressive devotion... Probably makes this fairly safe. I think it might be a, another dream point, because it's like physical damage, then Morala gets physical damage plus armor, then Akola here gets plus armor. Yeah, I think that's the case. So one more dream. And also, some people refuse to give in to the evil of their heart and flee the... Oh, God. That really needs to stop happening. That is heartbreaking. I mean, that's a huge penalty, right? That you just lose... Like, I'm going to be very, very annoyed if we make it to the end of the game and we actually get the whole Sunstone put together 
and we end up missing truth by a number of disciples that is less, uh, a number of converts that is less than the number of people who ran away. It's like that's such a that's such a huge game-breaking unreversible penalty for a tradition show uh, for a tenant choice that you make early in the game with no idea that that will happen. All right, so damage damage plus armor. You are a giant. You dreamt you were a giant, but a giant who was in great pain. All right, and then we're also going to do Ritual progress on you again to actually get your rankings up. All right, Akola's getting pretty powerful. We have a really good, a good powerful group of younger disciples here. So we do, we have to take a point of martyrdom to be able to hit our threshold. But I don't think I want to take more than one point of martyrdom because this is going to be... They have a lot of health for us to slog through. God, I almost feel like I have to take additional martyrdom though because of our because of our followers leaving. That's really that's really crummy. You know, if you lose if you have one of those happen and you like lose a small amount of stats or you lose some materials or something, you can make that up. Ooh, that sucks. That also sucks. Why was Marala the one who jumped in front of that? Come on, dude! Okay, well it would have been nice if that would have killed anybody. This is... This is really not working. Okay, there we go, that's a start. I think we're gonna have a... We're gonna have Morala break, though. Yep. That's really annoying. Uh, it's really annoying. And it always seems like it's that way, right? Whenever we get um, intercepts off of the bodyguard effect, it's always the person who is going to take a ton of damage in the sacrament after that point who intercepts, never the other person who could totally afford the health loss. Very, very annoying. Well, we made our we made our material threshold, unless I did some bad math somewhere. We'll be able to get a couple of good uh, a couple of good miracles off here. Yep, 524 is good enough. Uh, yep, and Amelia has finally slept her eternal sleep. Alright, it is definitely time to do some repeatables. So, do we have any other critical... I mean, like, material spends, I guess, for, for buying stat-ups are still important. I'm debating which one of the repeatables we want to do. Uh, let's have it be... We're not very good at this one. Let's have it be this. Wow, attack plus plus, really. These are getting harsh. Okay. T is debating Chim on the tenets of... Ah, only wisdom can follow. Okay, permanent knowledge bonus for both of you. Not, <laughs> not that it matters a huge amount. And let's see who are our new disciples. Oh, wow. Three purples. That's exciting. So, the Paladin. Jono, strong-minded, follower of Talipa. And Tei, of course, we always got a little bit of madness in there. The Psychotic. Okay. That's very exciting. So what do we need? I'd really like to have another Beast Walker. We, we need a Beast Walker. The final battles for this island have uh, Divine Disciples in them. Yeah. So we need to be training up a Beast Walker. Now these two are... They are both two sacraments away from being burnable. So we kind of like, we want to take a Beast Walker right now. It's unfortunate that nobody has Might and Cunning. We have a Cunning Major and two Might Majors. 
Charisma doesn't really have any value to a Beast Walker, but 20 Evasion has value to a Beast Walker. Um, health totally does matter to a Beast Walker. If we took Sipakli here, the cunning, the, the ritual we would have them constantly doing would give them a ton of health to go along with all of their cunning. So, Beast Walkers have a natural hit point reduction, which would be somewhat offset by the health. Then the high health would cause them to want to jump in front of attacks a lot which is a little awkward, but the high cunning would make evasion more likely. And I think probably probably Tay is just not even not even in the conversation. So yeah, it's really 20 evasion, great cunning versus might and health. I think I'm going to go this way. We want we want the might growth more because of the um, because of our tentacle and also because we're going to be focusing on the crit attack anyway. It's a little bit of a shame that we didn't get anybody who has both Might and Cunning, but you'll be a good Beast Walker. You will be a fine Beast Walker. So let's force that. And then obviously we will be performing a quick Might Miracle here. And then it is time to build ourselves a Temple of Chaos. Oh, the eye. Oh, the big eye moves. Don't stand on that. What's wrong with you? Like, there's a huge number of reasons you shouldn't do that. Okay, so. Do we want to add, like, charisma to the occult ritual, maybe? Or. We could add something here. I think, like, charisma on the occult ritual, at least it, it gives our. Uh, it gives our cultists a little bit better raw da like raw morale damage scaling. Or we could add like a defense to something. Obviously the devotion thing doesn't really need a defense. We could on this one put like knowledge. Make our chieftains a little bit uh, a little bit better against morale attacks. I'm actually I'm thinking it's gonna be charisma on a cult. There's no direct charisma scaling, but I don't think we have we have we don't have any direct scaling issues anymore. We have the stats that we need in all of the places. I'm gonna do it that way. Uh and I will I order you to sacrifice music. Figure out a way to do it. Punish the clouds, sacrifice music, and always, always venerate skulls and llamas. And llama skulls in particular. Alright, uh, and then we have 339 offerings. So, I mean, we want to do this. Let's just go ahead and do this. We know we're going to. This is a moment for Morale to do the thing. Uh, Akola needs some help with the faith. That's a problem we're going to have to solve. Yeah, <laughs> that's a problem we're going to have to solve. We'll get there. Um... So ritual progress on Marala, maybe? And I think we're going to bring Marala to this next battle. Yeah, we're definitely going to bring Marala to this next battle. So let's just push you a little bit. Punish, punish, punish. Okay. Uh, Morali would like to do a Delirium Ritual. Or a Delirium Miracle. It's, I mean, it's gonna be a little crazy. Alright, you are giving us dreams. We definitely need to do uh, permanent faith boost blessings on Akola whenever possible at this point. Neither one of you is getting any resources, so just continue dreaming. Uh, do we want to faith you up? So you're going to go to 14, you know, 14 XP after this. It does not, it definitely does not help to give 1 XP to you. So I think I might just do a, we, we might have to do a lot more Faith Blessing in general, because people are going to keep getting really, really powerful and 
arrogance is going to become an issue. <laughs> Alright, you are getting... You are getting this thing. And a damage-boosting dream. Yeah, this isn't so scary. Morella now has the devotion necessary to be able to stand across from a person like that and probably not die horribly. Uh, and then... It's... Is it going to be a cola? Probably, right? It makes sense to bring a cola. Put a cola here so that the person who's here gets the bonus armor. Which means a cola could use a little bit more of this, or... Our dream could be Morella gets physical damage and morale uh, armor. With the hope of making Morella actually survive the fight. Because I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little worried. Morella likes to hurl herself in front of danger, as we've seen on multiple occasions. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Well, sorry, I already locked in the dream, though, didn't I? Then never mind. We'll just hope that, um... I just hope that you morale armor through this. Yeah. And then um, it's going to be... What's your weak defense? They're identical. Well, who's got the better... Who's got the better offense? Chim's got a more consistent offense, I guess. So it's, all one, it's all one damage type. And we're like at 55. And Okay, that's... It's a little awkward because we have too many attacks that have bad scaling. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it Tay. Tay's gonna go in with with physical armor. Okay, let's do it. Tay for probably the last time. Cola here and Marala. And then, do I need to be careful because of Marala's health? Remember, there are no conversions on the line here. This is just about resources. And we're pretty low on resources right now, but we also don't really need a lot. Wow, the value of a tribute chest. Wait, 241? That can't... That can't be right. Plus 75 materials, plus the idle bonus. Yeah, okay, I guess it is. Wild. Okay, well, it feels like we should definitely take all the chests I think we can get away with then. Let's try it like this. Yeah, that's a huge amount of materials. So, Morala has one Faith Bond lost, right? I'm pretty sure it's just one. And obviously I don't like losing a Faith Bond on someone that early, but I think we probably will be okay. The same thing happened to Amelia. Amelia lost a Faith Bond, like, super early on, and it did not end up breaking her in the end. She survived long enough to teach us all the majesty of the Llama. Ow. Ooh. So yeah, as much as uh, as much as it looks like we probably would have been okay taking the second point of martyrdom, I'm glad I didn't, because Tay's Tay's close enough to the level of HP that he would have been at that like one or two things going wrong in this combat could have been a real danger if we had taken the second point. Okay. So where are we at happiness-wise? Is that did that take us down to ten? Got a normal miracle here. Picked up a copy of Aberrant Growth, which is yeah, it's fine. Uh, you are you are a pretty knowledge-focused version of your thing. So might scaling on all abilities, which might be good, or yo critical madness. Yup, that's the one. <laughs> Alongside the Beast Walker, like that seems awesome. Even though Sipakli screamed at the top of their lungs and spoke backwards, the Skelefans perfectly understood her chaotic ravings. You reward Sipakli by casting your eye upon her and inflicting the infinite depths of your deranged truth upon them. So, 
Delirium or plus two tribute chests in the next sacrament or Delirium and 55 followers. It feels like 55 followers is pretty bad. I don't think we should take 55. It's, it's too small. It's too small a number. All right. Welcome aboard. Blessed be. I do love a little bit of a little bit of delirium. So we're gonna come to this later. I think right now let's do the materials thing again because we got these bonus chests. Uh, so here a cola will be strong. Yeah, this seems good. Very punchy. But, not all of it's scaling all that well. This should be very handleable. A cola right here, granting bodyguard status to the others. Should be good. Should be good. New Grand Summoner. Who do we want to take this? It's probably Marala, right? Marala is the one who's going to have the most raw might. Yeah. With might amazing. I'm trying not, I'm trying not to be swayed by the fact that it has been a... Uh, has traditionally been a a smite sword, but I think that was the right move. All right, and then you get to be this guy. It's gonna it's gonna be a lot of stats, man. All right, so who's coming on this? It's Akola and Sipakli and Marala. It would be enough XP by itself to push Marala over. But if we wanted to give Morala a rest instead, we could do an XP boost plus the XP blessing. And that would be enough to get us to the next miracle as well. So... We definitely want to bring a Cola. Sipakli is so... Is so soft right now. I really worry about bringing Sipakli on a battle. Sixty HP with sixteen evasion. I mean, obviously, we could complete a ritual or two. We could speed complete a ritual or two. Well, one. We have enough offerings to do one XP boost plus one ritual speed up. The thing is, if we don't. If, so if we don't take Sipakli here, there's no way we get to do a miracle during the next battle, and I really want to do that. I want to do this, then maybe like one more repeatable. So that would take us to eight happiness. And then we have to go here. Yeah. So we need that extra miracle for Sipakli's development. So what if it's a Cola Marala Sipakli? That gets us Miracle for Marala during the next uh, the next thing, Miracle for Sipakli during the next thing, Morali and whoever can take on the next repeatable just to make sure it gets done. I think that's the right play. Which means we want to XP boost you. And we probably also want to ritual boost you. Let's get your get your stats up in a decent place quickly. So are you going to finish that naturally? You are. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It is a shame that that's not four cunning, though. Oh, it could be. I should... Uh, I did a bad. I should have bought favorable wins before pressing that button. Because the whole reason I... Um, the whole reason I was pushing material so hard was so that we could buy these stat ups. Okay, well that'll get it there, but we did just, like, not take a point of cunning, basically. For no reason. Except that I was in too much of a hurry. And then the question is, do we buy Dream Plus? or I, I think we probably hold out and just buy more of these things in the near future. Temple of Health is unlikely. We will probably not build another temple. That's my guess. Okay, so... We don't need to take the XP Blessing on you because you're young and we're fully trained, so you're going to get 7 XP on the battle anyway. So this is a dream point. If we have the opportunity to XP buff Sipakli, we take it. 
Uh, what's up? What's up? Tay is doing the procession of the llamas. Oh, look at them! Blessed is this day! Look at them proceed! Permanent plus three might. Yo! Holy crap! Is Adore Llamas the best tenant? It might actually be. And we're one, yes, we're one tenant away from a new tradition. Ah, this is all very exciting. Things are going well. Oh, I should probably teach you a level of Critical Claw. I think I want multiple copies of Crit 1 rather than one copy of Crit 2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get an XP boost, <clears throat> and then if we get one opportunity to XP boost in the next four days, we don't have to spend any offerings to get X to get Sipakli up to the next level, which seems really important. And now the question, third dream point versus, like, blessing, or versus ritual progress for somebody. Let's see, Akola's probably got this dude under control... And our stats are looking a lot better. We definitely still want to do an armor dream on Sipakli. And then offensive dreams on Akola are a little awkward because Akola's damage types are split. So honestly, maybe it's just a just a damage dream on Morala because Morala can just, you know, slam somebody really, really hard. So two dream points is enough, I think, then. What's the scaling in your attacks look like right now? Only 45? Yeah, it's probably not worth... Probably not worth taking an extra dream point just to boost Sipakli's damage. So I think I'm gonna take... Oh, I should probably... Actually, what we should probably do is this. Because Morali is going to have... Going to have faith issues forever. Alright. So we know Supakli needs to have a dream of armor. And we're just gonna physical damage boost Morala and break somebody down even without the even without the damage bonus, I think. At least I hope so. Okay, so it doesn't hugely matter where do these guys have the exact same scaling? 44, no, you are definitely softer. No, actually, it's, it is the same. Okay, well, Morala across from the one who has slightly less armor probably, uh, probably is right. And then, like, our chests are so valuable. <laughs> that said, it's actually going to be 45 armor once we include the bodyguard damage. Even so, this is so little health. I might, I might go no martyrdom here. We're already taking home five chests, which is going to get us two. Th it's going to get us over two thousand um, materials, and I'm really worried about Sipakli getting broken. I want, I need Sipakli to be in good shape for two battles from now. And if Sipakli breaks here, the broken debuff does last for two full battles, so it would be, it would not wear off in time. So we're going to do it like this, and maybe I'm being overly cautious, but I think it's a really bad idea to risk it right now. Also, we can't necessarily guarantee that Sipakli won't jump in front of attacks on account of bodyguards, so... Alright, well I was hoping for a crit. Yep, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, good evade though. Okay, we're going to have to get through another whole turn of that, but it looks like we're going to win on converts. Show me... yes. Oh, I thought that was a retribution. Never mind. Oh, must you? Whew. Well, it's a good thing we didn't take that, uh, that other point of martyrdom. Or that first point of martyrdom, rather. Yeah, wow, that was really close. Can we... Can I toggle? No, I cannot toggle inspection mode, so we don't know exactly what she was at. Alright, Sipakli is one XP off. We can spend offerings, but I would prefer not to. Prefer to put those elsewhere. Yeah, we are bringing in, we are bringing in the rewards. 
Okay, Chim and Tay grow gray, but we're not going to kick them out yet because I think we're going to need them to carry this next battle. So we do one more recycle, and then we take this on with Sipakli having another level of... It's a little dangerous because there is a Dark Disciple, and it's a Dark Disciple with considerable knowledge, but we'll bring Morala on this. And hopefully Morala will just jump in front of whatever and, and tank it. 52s, 54s. Ooh, 71. 71 with bonus crit chance. That's harsh. And we definitely don't want to bring a cola. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the right way to do this is. Each turn gives might to all other allies, but on turn 3 loses the, the buff and 50% HP. Okay. That's actually really scary. The plus knowledge development power would be really nice, but that's really scary. All right, is the is this thing easy to do? Yes, yes it is. All right, so uh, Marala gets to miracle. Uh, yeah, this this gives us more might. Of course, this is what we do. Have yourself a merry little delirium. Uh, and then... Sipakli, we got the op we got the opportunity to do the XP thing, so we will be doing that. So we don't need to spend XP on that. We are definitely not doing Great Summoning. We'll do Great Summoning for the battle that's about to come up, which is going to make that a lot easier. So, please fans, we might be at a threshold here on please fans. It might be a good idea to stop doing that. Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, also, let's spend our let's spend our resources here. So this would be even more might, but I think I might rather have like we could do cunning plus knowledge instead. Cunning plus devotion. We could do point five on everything. Hmm. We could also do offerings plus plus and cunning. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and then... So we're probably not doing this. We're probably going to take it easy on that thing for now. We could XP boost somebody else, but I guess actually nobody else needs it. Everybody else is capped. We could do a pair of, of ritual things. We could um, we could also do ability points, which might be the right call. So you already have one ability point, but yeah, it's that's a little awkward. We could go ability points on a cola and replace. Bravery with something morale focused. With the benefit of making it so that when we do offensive dreams for a cola, they're more reliable. Just like put intimidate on instead. I think I'm just gonna do ritual progress twice. Just gonna just gonna really, really push the numbers here. So let's go ritual progress on you. Yeah, Sipakli is going to be so important for the rest of the island. Uh, and then you can get back to stalking and groveling and studying all simultaneously, because that is how we do things here. And get your XP. And this is going to be a cunning miracle. And then, like, do we want to do a fervor thing on a cola, or do we just want to dream? This battle would be easier if we <laughs> if we had Morala. Uh, so it's probably going. It's going to be a cola and Morali and one of these two, maybe. And if that's the case, we should retire the other one. The other thing we could do is have it be all three of the cultists. Let a cola rest and get 
too further back because Akola is in her prime. I think that might actually be the move. There's not a lot of physical damage here, so we're not missing out on a ton by not having bodyguards. And all three of our cultists have decent... Um, all three of our cultists have decent knowledge, so... They have, I guess, a little bit less armor than morale, so we'll have it be Tay. So we're going to retire Chim right now, then. Oh, can I not do that? It's weird that... It's weird that Take Soul... Like, why do we have the Take Soul ability if I can't do the, the normal send away action? I mean, I guess I can take a soul at any time. I didn't realize that this was a thing I could always do. Huh. I just kind of assumed it had the same effect as clicking on their bar when they're close to death. Uh, okay. Interesting. Maza, strong-minded of the frigate bird. Look at that. Also, it, critical argument chance is nice. And Mary of the panther. Yo, now that's a beast walker. Holy crap. Holy crap, Mary would be a good beast walker. Do we want a second beast walker? We could, we could take a second Beast Walker. It's such a good fit. And then we'll have one Cultist and two Beast Walkers, so we'll still be at three Dark or Nature Disciples for the bonus Tribute Chest on Great Summoning. I think we, we would be fools not to take this. And then cat noises, just to just to make sure that we know that we are in the right place. Yeah, absolutely. You will be fantastic. Uh, feel free to help yourself to a... So you're a little bit more cunning than Sipakli. We could split these two. You know, have, have one of them be the might, the might one and the other one be the cunning one. And they're not going to be that different, but... Especially since they'll both be using the same um, the same ritual over and over again. Okay, so I have decided that we are using a cola for this. So let's do a fervor replenishment just in case. I don't know for sure that we're going to use a cola on stuff in uh, on stuff in the near future, but wherever Morala goes, the paladins are there to aid. Okay, cool. Health and faith is actually that's a really good bonus for Morala. And then do we we probably just dream here? So if we are going to use a cola, we, I mean, we do have to rethink this. This is another situation where... This is another situation where we are getting bonus materials from our chests. So these two extra chests would be... That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff we'd be missing out on by not taking it. And you're at 46. I'm going to do it. I'm going to perhaps unwisely I'm going to do it. All right, and then we're also going to do one of these. So where are you at right now? You're at 48. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> Maybe we just save the, the offerings, and we'll, we'll use the offerings to develop the younger people after the sacrament. I think that's probably right. Okay, so who wants what? Well, I guess it's whoever's going to be across from the top two should take... Bonus morale defense. And it should be the, it should be one of the cultists who's across from the bottom one. So you have 17 physical armor on 102 HP. So it's Morali is across from the bottom one. Tay has actually very poor morale armor. Tay is very might focused. So yeah, we definitely need to do morale armor on on the other two. Okay. It's a little scary. And yeah, we're just holding off on all of our other offering abilities. I was giving I was giving that one more thought real quick. 
So that'll have you at 27 armor, which is fine. Fine, not awesome. And then, do I think we can take another point of martyrdom? Honestly? Kind of no? And with us being in a position where the, um... Where there are no, no uh, converts on the line, I think it's way less important to do so. So... We are going to have an awful lot of knowledge. We, can, we might be able to afford it, though. And it's a lot of extra materials. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it safe. We do not need to risk it. Risking it is not important enough. I do like the huge number of buffs <laughs> that we all have every time we go into combat now. Okay, Idle Glamour was a really lucky roll there. Wow! Wow, that was good. Alright, our targeting's kind of all over the place, but we're getting a lot done. Yeah, not too bad. It's weird it's weird to win a battle in a way that that feels so much like last game. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous about this uh, this side boss thing, but I think we should be able to handle it. Ooh, wondrous storyteller miracle. 36 bonus offerings. I guess every little bit matters. Okay, Judgment Plus, overwriting, well, whatever it was we had here. I mean, that feels pretty alright. And you are definitely might-focused. Yeah, just raw plus three on might right now. Pretty good. Got ourselves a Hunting Miracle with Critical Claw, awesome. And a Wondrous Storyteller Miracle. Our people are so wondrous these days. Alright, I'm not upset about Agile Claw. Agile Claw's good. Uh, we probably want to take Swift Hunter. Counter Slash is interesting if, so like, if we think that it's generally going to be the case that we will run the Beast Walkers together. Having Counter Slash on one of them, probably on the one whose might scaling is better than their uh, cunning scaling is actually pretty interesting. Obviously, we want the crit chance, but... If we tend to run them together, Mary's very dodgy. Does Mary have... Mary doesn't have health scaling, right? So actually, it's it's very often going to be the case that if we run them together, Sipakli is going to jump in front of Mary anyway when physical attacks happen. I'll just take Swift Hunter, that's fine. So 65 and 70. We're not bringing Mary on this battle. But Sipakli is now in a play in a place where she actually looks pretty dangerous here. And then it's like a cola. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Sipakli Morali Morala. Yeah, I think that's right. Looks a little scary, but I think that's right. Uh, and this will be a great battle to have great summoning. The summoning is going to be so good here. It's gonna, the, the damage, the damage that that is going to start the battle with is so huge. Plus 14 cunning. Completion of this ritual will give 14 cunning. You know the thing I'm always saying about uh, self-reinforcing resource loops? So, who do we want to pass Amelia's lightning rod to? Probably, like, a Cola or Morali, right? Because Sipakli and Mary will have enough... Uh, will have enough cunning that they're going to be going first a lot anyway. Although Sipakli... Maybe not so much with Sipakli, because... She does not have above-average cunning scaling. 36, 36, and 28. And I mean, this number's gonna keep trending upward. It actually might be right to do that. 
might be right to, to just give this to her. Uh, but do we get more benefit out of forcing Morali really early in the turn order? Or alternatively, is it going to be enough? Is is low cunning that pretty much never goes up? I mean, 15's the top, right? We've already done all of our miracles. We've done all of our all stat scaling. So... Yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, Morali already has a thing. Okay, let's just give it to Sapakli then. Perhaps unnecessary, but we really do want our Beast Walkers to go first. With them having negative health and stuff, it's, it's pretty important. And then 1751 materials. Let's buy... Let's buy what? We can buy Dream Plus. Just get extra Dream Point. We're using our Dreams a lot. Do that, and then also... Uh, bonus knowledge? Bonus devotion? It's probably bonus knowledge. I mean, neither one of them is awesome. Maybe we just bank? Maybe we just bank to be able to buy some of these 2000s, because we do want to cap out the scaling on our good stats, right? Yeah, I think that's probably the case. Uh, we do probably want to do some of this, though. Oh, and Mary should pick up a copy of... Crit. Okay. So... How do we want to spend our offerings here? We have a lot of them. We're not planning on bringing Mary to this battle. We could XP boost twice... Uh, doing so does not, sadly, get us to the, um, it does not get us to the level we would need to get to, to do a miracle here. And there's no way that we're going to get three XP blessings. So... Probably we're in a place here where we should, we should throw some ability points. Particularly on the people who have finished stuff. Oh, we should XP boost Morala. I forgot Morala wasn't wasn't capped yet. And this is Morala's last sacrament as a young one, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get seven XP from the sacrament. We could get up to nineteen with a double XP boost, and then that means that we would be able to uh, we'd be able to XP boost plus one more sacrament or double XP boost for the last level. That's probably what we ought to do. Um, and then we have... We have 475 materials left. 465 materials left. I think it's going to be double ritual progress, double XP boost. And probably we want to focus on the people who are actually participating in this thing. So this is actually probably going to finish two levels of her thing, right? Yep. Alright, and then um, Akola's resting on this one. So we probably don't need to do a fervor boost there. But I might want to do a faith boost. <laughs> You know what, I am going to buy that dream upgrade. It's not that expensive, it won't be prohibitive to us getting further upgrades. But I want... To, we're actually using our dream points a lot, so... Uh, and then... We could get Sipakli, like, very developed here. How many dreams do I think we need? We're going to do... We're going to do an offense dream on Sipakli, we're going to do... An offense dream on Marala, probably. And then we probably need to do some defense dreams, too, because we have some very high physical damage coming out of the other party. Very, very high. So it's like physical armor, physical armor, offense, offense. So we need to do dream points here and on the next one. Because this is a scary battle.
So we ritual boost you. Okay. Casual 60 might, no big deal. Gosh, I really love that when it's fully upgraded. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't quite going to make it. That's not a big deal. Okay, and then XP boost for Morala. Alright, so... Morala's probably going mid. Because that's where the lowest... I, I guess it could be either of these spots. It should actually... It should probably be here. Because you have the thing that does bo bonus damage to sorcerers. And you are definitely a sorcerer. So you're going to take this and physical armor. And you're going to take this and physical armor. And then... This, this could be ugly. We might not get this. I think there's a chance we do not get this. So I think we do it like this, because we can't afford to run Morali across from either of the Smite Swords. Yeah, and then there's actually a lot of conversions on the line here, so... What's your... you have... 43 cunning. What's your actual evasion? So 76 evasion for the first two turns. 66 health. It makes me... or 50 health, rather. It makes me so nervous. And you're getting in for like 54 reduced by 60%. We're going for it. We're going for it. I think there's... There's a lot of converts on the line. I consistently underestimate the strength of our team. We should try to get all these people. We need all these people. Oh, I totally forgot about the summoning. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be totally fine. I still, even if I had remembered the summoning, I would not have gone for double martyrdom. So everything's cool. And what a good, what a good place for a stun to land. Wow. Great crits, too. Just really fantastic work from everybody there. Okay, well, we sure showed them. So Morala is not that far from being able to be pushed to the next... the next miracle. I think it's probably going to be two XP boosts. Yep. <laughs> All of the numbers are very compelling, is the thing. So, knowledge is not the best development power we could have gotten, but it is still it is still good stuff. So, are we final boss mode? We're at 8 happiness. We could take a second here. Is Morella... Morella's at 19. We should cap Morella before doing this battle. Yeah. So, we... Right? We could do a repeatable, double XP boost Morala, and then Morala can, can miracle while we're doing the repeatable. What's up with this Grand Champion battle? Sorry. Totally maxed out. Really horrifying. Chance to counter life abilities. Lose physical armor and morale armor after being attacked, but it resets between rounds. The Collared Lion of Sorrow. We should cap out Morala before we fight them. Alright, let's take on the, um... Let's take on this. Yeah, that should be easy enough. What's up, y'all? The Paladins help her uh, not to fall into anarchy. All fights have their place. Cool. Bonus tribute chests on the sacrament that gives more materials from tribute chests. What a good time. Uh, so, I think that is probably where we ought to call it for today. I get very swept up. I honestly probably should have called it before that last sacrament. Uh, that is going to be it for us for the moment. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, what day is it? <laughs> is there an episode tomorrow? I don't remember if, if tomorrow's the weekend or not. That's how disconnected from the flow of time I am. 
Uh, here's what I'll say. Come back next time, whenever that is, for us finishing this island and taking down their grand champion. I'm confident we could do it, but it's probably going to be a pretty epic battle anyway. And we'll see you then.